It's a red cardinal on my bird feeder. I'm so happy. That's awesome. You probably can't see it because of the screen, but... Going up the fence. Oh, he's gone. Snowing. Well, kind of. It was a blizzard. I can't turn around because it's fucking super windy. But it's snowing. So you're probably barely going to be able to see this, but... Oh yeah, it's clearing up too, too. But, well, I was just walking in it. You saw a bit of it. And, uh... Now it's almost a little bit more rain than it is snow, but uh, it was snowing. A little bit of a preview of the storm that is going to begin really tomorrow because it's going to rain all fucking day and night. And then Friday when the temperature drops, it is going to turn into a shit storm. It'll be the first uh, D-Vlog snowstorm of death for the 2019-2020 season. So, you all have all that to look forward to. I um, normally don't go out on Wednesdays. Um, actually, my neighbor's coming over to pick up a piece of mail that he's got. And um, he's going to take me over. I discovered I don't have a snow shovel. And while, uh, with our new lease, it does say that they will come and do the snow removal, um, it may be that... Uh, it may be that I want to get out of here, you know, or at least shovel out an area for me to, you know, go and have a puff and that kind of shit. Um, so I don't have a shovel. I thought, uh, I thought there was one here in the garage, but maybe someone stole it or maybe it got taken out when uh, Sandra's guy was here uh, taking her stuff. Or maybe I didn't have one at all. I remember Brad asking me about a shovel. If it was mine, I was like, no, it's not mine. I don't, the only shovel I had was like this little fucking dollar store dinky thing that I was using for my stairs that almost broke because it was so flimsy. <laughs> I mean, it was a kid's shovel, like a kid's play shovel, like almost, not a beach shovel, but yeah, pretty much so like a toddler could like snow, you know, be shoveling snow by his dad or whatever. Um, it was good for the steps, but yeah, almost even broke. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go get a real shovel, but... After I texted that, asking him if he could uh, give me a lift over there and back to grab a shovel, um, I was like, oh, fuck, cat food. And I remembered that I ordered some wet cat food for her at the vet's, which isn't too far, it's just over past the Sobeys. So I had enough time before Brad's coming here to get me. And, um, yeah, so I went over there. But while I was out there, and I wish I would have recorded sooner because I was in like a literal like blizzard, like it was pretty funny. Like people were laughing in their cars because it just kind of came out of nowhere. It was like kind of gray and sunny and a little bit of rain and all of a sudden it was like, whoosh, a blizzard. <laughs> it was pretty wild. Um, so yeah, and uh, Friday into Saturday. Um, could be a crazy uh, 24, almost 36 hours of uh, crazy weather coming up here. So stay tuned, my friends. Oh, and there was a chipmunk. Short tail was out there. I didn't expect to see short tail. It was like cold and it's windy, and uh, I heard a rustle, and there was a short tail was hanging out there. So he's she's still around. I haven't seen this one here. Um, the one that comes across the back and hangs out on that tire. And what bothers me is that I see a rat trap over there, and um, you know, I mean that. That chipmunk had ran back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like, for a couple of weeks, you know, on and off. And maybe even the whole summer without going inside that. But who knows, maybe it went inside, and I don't know what they got inside, those sticky traps or poison or whatever. Um, but maybe the chipmunk bought the dust there, kitty. Hmm? So I just got back from the superstore with my neighbor, my ex-neighbor, my old neighbor. Um, he came by to pick up some mail. And I needed a shovel for the impending snowstorm of death. So I got a shovel. And I got some new chicken strips. I'm going to try them. They're supposed to be spicy. I've been happy with Superstore chicken strips before. But my problem is with chicken these days is even like, fuck, who was it? Oh, well, all those peanuts are there. That, that chipmunk hasn't been back for a while. Um, chicken strips. I tried like some what I thought were like top of the line chicken strips and they turned out to have like foam in them and I call it foam. I don't know what the fuck they do to the chicken. It says in the ingredients that it's chicken but I've never seen a foamy chicken before but uh, it's pretty disgusting. 
and that foam is what I would deem to be crappy chicken strips. A real chicken strip is one that when you cut it open it has chicken inside. Like it, you can look at it and go, oh, okay, this hasn't been processed, this hasn't been grown, this has, you know, it's real chicken. So that's what I'm looking for and that's what I believe these chicken strips are. I thought I heard something. Hello? No, no chipmunk. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna try those out tonight. Uh, it is Method Tricks Wednesday. I'm feeling like crap, so yeah. Haven't been able to capture it yet, but there's been a red cardinal. Are all cardinals red? I don't know. It's a red cardinal. It's been popping by, but haven't been able to capture it on video yet. There's lots of uh, little chickadees that come hang out. It's funny, because earlier when the chipmunk short tail was over in the alleyway there uh, getting a peanut, uh, one of the small chickadees landed and was kind of checking out what the chipmunk was, was getting. And actually, uh, I saw it actually land on a peanut and um, it didn't try and carry it, but it just, I think, kind of assessed what it was. Like, hey, what's this chipmunk eating? Can I eat this? And uh, I quickly learned that it didn't. But, um, yeah. Not a lot of birds have been using it. I don't know. I get the seed at the dollar store. I don't know. Birds have a sense of smell or taste, and it's crap. Who knows? It's food. Fucking eat it. And so far, no chipmunk. I think I just saw the mole. The mole. I've been quite surprised. I was just thinking about this. Like, a lot of crows fly over the yard and, you know, allegedly have good eyesight for seeing food and stuff. And I've heard that crows will eat peanuts. But, like, for instance, there's a pile of peanuts that are sitting there. Obviously, no squirrels or chipmunks have been by. I mean, if you're a bird, a crow laying in a tree, you'd probably see those. I mean, it's a pretty small backyard. Maybe it's something to do with that, that it doesn't like the, you know, how uh, tight it is to land in here. Maybe it's a safety thing for them. I don't know. But I've, yeah, it's kind of curious because I've heard that crows will go after peanuts, but they're not going after those nuts. They're not going after my nuts. And that's good to see. They got the gutter truck cleaning the leaves out of the gutters because there's a big storm coming. And I've seen streets that have flooded already. Ow. Ow. God damn it. I hate walking in my soccer bare feet. <sighs> Look at this bullshit. Ten after five and it's already starting to get to be dusk. It's dark in the apartment. This is, you know, why we as Canadians, we're smart people. We shouldn't be living up here, man. I mean, come on. It used to be, you know, this is where you landed, you know, and there was industry here, like fishing, forestry, but come on, we can get out of here. We can rush the border en masse, all of Canada, all at once, going against the Americans, and we'll take it over. We'll throw, they can come up here and have the fucking snow and cold. I want to go down south, man. I want to live in Arizona or Nevada or New Mexico or California, but it's America, so I can't go and live there, you know? Unless I found some beautiful American woman to marry me, but still, right? 